Attorney Jonathan Elson, reminding you that if you've been injured in an auto accident, it's important to have somebody on your side. When you need a lawyer, then you need Nelson. You need Nelson. Oh, you know how um, thankful I am we got to open this? This has been coming for way too long. It's taken all of a year to get it built, as far as I'm concerned, because we found the money back when uh, John Koenig was on the board. We refinanced um, our jail, yeah. saving the $4.1 million that built this. Got our interest rate down from down to 1.93, which we were super proud of. And so we basically got an animal shelter for free, as far as I'm concerned. So we're yeah, proud yeah. of this day. Yeah. It's taken a lot of work to get us to this day. And uh, thank you. We did all of our research, went and saw all kinds of shelters all over the country, and we, this is state of the art. Yeah. This gives you a place where you can be, there's three different sections of just to be able to visit the animal that you're adopting. So you have some privacy and you can see if this animal is going to work for you. The very first animal control officer here was June Fry. Okay, and, and she started business on the Pahrump Ranch in, in, the, uh, in the shop area. And then she moved over to the old store, and and now we have a beautiful, beautiful building, yeah. and um, it's just absolutely fantastic to see the infrastructure growing in Nye County to be able to support animals, people, and new life. As you go through, you'll see where uh, animal control can actually pull into the building and offload inside the building. Yeah. Uh, what we're trying to do is make sure that all the systems work. We're working out all the bugs. Every new building has bugs, you know that. Huh? Yeah. And uh, so far we're doing fantastic. Our, uh, our manager for the shelter is doing a fantastic job. Yeah. Um, how's it going with those um, dogs? Are they going to be coming here? We don't know yet. Yeah. Um, we, uh, we're still working on that. Yeah. We managed to get everybody categorized yesterday and everybody saw a vet. So that's really about all I can tell you at that point. And as this county grows, we're going to have to expand. Yeah. Uh, we're looking at uh, maybe 70 to 75,000 within the next five years. Yeah. Uh, we're pretty excited to open the shelter. Uh, we've been operating shelter base since July 1st over here and taking care of the animals. So it's been a good time. So um, we've definitely been met with a lot of challenges. Um, you know, I'm, I'm grateful for the experience that I've had coming from other shelters and animal welfare background. Um, we have been able to transfer all the animals over here safely. And uh, we're currently utilizing 24 Pet Watch. Um, so if you go to 24petwatch.com, put in our zip code 89060, you can actually look up all of our available animals and it's a great place to look for animals if yours is missing. I'd say the community has had a really positive uh, response so they're really helpful when it comes to reuniting animals with their owners so I appreciate that so much. We are posting on Facebook we try to post every found animal because we know a lot of people turn to social media um, but unfortunately you know we're not able to post every animal individually that's where the 24 pet watch site comes into play. So you're always welcome to call the shelter we are more than happy to talk about the animals that we have here or maybe some that have been potentially found recently um, but it's always recommended in the event that you have a lost animal to come down and actually look for them. We're really grateful to have so many PAW partners to turn to. Um, these 501c3 reputable rescue organizations help us a ton. Um, they can spend a lot more time and resources on animals that maybe have behavioral issues or maybe severe medical issues that we wouldn't be able to focus on in the shelter. Um, we have taken in a lot of animals, but when it comes to things like strays and owner surrenders, we really try to be a resource center. So we try to turn um, individuals to local rescue organizations that may be a better resource for them. Of course, with our animal control officers, they are always scanning for microchips. So our goal is to always return out in the field if we have to and alleviate the animals coming to the shelter at all. Um, but in the event that animals lost again, we really try to turn to social media. Um, if you find an animal, you have a true stray animal, you know, we will we will try to help you scan it for a microchip and help find the owner as well. Um, as far as available animals, I have about 26 available dogs, 10 available cats. And when I say available, I mean that they're already altered, vaccinated, microchip ready to go. Um, of of course, since we do work with local law enforcement and animal control, we do have animals that are on site for protective custody or maybe are still awaiting their stray hold.
So this weekend we are participating in the Clear the Shelter movement. It is a nationwide movement where the ultimate goal is to get all of the animals that are adoptable out of the shelter. Come this Friday, we are waiving adoption fees, meaning these animals will be free to ideal homes as long as they are over six months of age and already altered. We are located at 1580 East Siri, directly across the street from the uh, local treasure. Mm -hmm. And our phone number is 775-751-7020. If we don't answer, please leave us a message and we'll get back to you within 24 business hours. We have our Facebook. It's the Nye County Animal Shelter Facebook. The photo is currently a picture of the building. You are able to contact contact us through there and see some of our available animals as well as get that 24 pet watch link. Current shelter operation hours are Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. and we do anticipate adding weekends to that soon. Ready? Yeah. Yeah.